In a little pub in London, Moriarty drank his beer and recited wondrous stories of his exploits far and near. Sing an Irish song, said Kelly, best of order, one and all. Then Moriarty sang for them the hills of Donegal. There was cheering at the finish and they called encore, encore. Moriarty said, listen lads, I can't sing any more. So he stood there, sad and silent, and gazed into his beer. And in his eyes there glistened the starting of a tear. Are you going home for Christmas? the kindly barmaid said. Moriarty fixed his gaze on her and slowly shook his head. Sure, I haven't been to Ireland now for twenty years or more. My mother would hardly know me if I walked up to the door. I was born, said Moriarty, on an island in the west. The last place God created, but the first place that he blessed. We were poor, but we were happy in our simple little way. My God, I wish I was a boy again to live my youthful days. My father, God be good to him, was drowned one woeful night and my mother left all lonesome and myself to work and fight. So with Donald Rue McCarthy and young Michael O'Gouchay, I came across to England to earn an honest pay. I told my dear old mother I'd soon be home again, but the curse of drink came o'er me and enslaved me in its chains. So I haven't been to Ireland now for twenty years or more, but I know she's still there waiting for my footsteps at the door. Then someone started singing, see amidst the winter snow, like an old bell singing far away and long ago. Moriarty stood and listened, then he pushed his glass away, and he made a solemn promise he'd go home for Christmas Day. So he scraped up every penny he could get into his hands, and coming up to Christmas, he sailed for Ireland. His heart was filled with gladness, and he felt content at last, as that train rolled through the Midlands that brought him to the West. In the village of Kinshila, that night upon the shore, far across the deep blue waters, he saw his island home once more. The stars were shining brightly, sure they glistened like a dome on that little white-washed cottage that was Moriarty's home. "'Tis a grand night for the sailing," said the boatman, Thomas Bond. Moriarty didn't know him. He'd been away too long. So they climbed into the bodging, and the boatman heard him say, Thank God, thank God in heaven, I'll be home for Christmas Day. In a little room in London, Moriarty's poor abode, on a table in the hallway, a message lay untold. The message said, Danny, your poor mother has passed away. She'll be buried in Kinchila after Mass on Christmas Day. <laughs>